Cheers. Any announcements? Hey, Aaron. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a quick announcement. Uh, the schedule for the week two is yet to be out. Um, but as I mentioned in the announcement, today is going to look similar as Monday. So you rely on the week one as we finalize the week two. That's the announcement for my end. Okay. So every just just uh, to make it clear. So how do we know what what's being scheduled when? Usually there's a discussion on the the challenge. So when can we expect the schedule to be published? Just working with the Twitter team to to get them ready. So. Um, but I would expect that the time for the tutorial is the same. Uh, but what we they are going to cover is still in the in the challenge document, but mm -hmm. the the discussion of the topics are yet to be out and I'm working with the tutor team, tutor, tutoring team to just summarize it. I guess the tutor, tutorials are the the key parts remaining. Everything else is on on the schedule. Okay, so we, so let's... we aim we aim at releasing uh, releasing the schedule probably um, if, if, like one hour after the standard. Okay, that sounds good. So let's say by nine a.m. UTC will have a, a provisional schedule that's been released and that's been shared. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, everyone's seen the challenge, uh, no doubt. Um, it's a challenge that's to be done in groups, and so that introduces a whole new set of work things a little bit, in some ways, easier, in some ways, more difficult. But today, um, welcome to week two, and we're now settling slowly into a rhythm. So we'd like to hear how last week was for everyone here. Um, what they, we don't need to talk about what we planned for this week, how last week was, um, and maybe one, uh, one thing that they learned, one lesson learned. Um, yeah, let's let's get started there. And if anyone would like to share how they rested on Sunday, that would be a good third a good third thing to uh, share as well. So let's hear how everyone's doing. So we're going to try um, to see if anyone else wants to contribute. I think we have our usual suspects. Um, I'm waiting for Martin to put his hand up. Is he here? Martin's not here yet because otherwise his hand would also be up. Um, yeah, let's, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna call people out for the first couple of minutes. So let's go with Jonas. Jonas? You're on mute if you're speaking. Hello? Yeah, hi, we can hear you. Uh, so, I had to do some of the works uh, during the morning times. Then uh, I just uh, was chilling with uh, my family for the rest of the day. Okay. And how was last week for you? Uh, it was a bit challenging. Uh, there was a lot of things that I uh, really uh, learned. Yeah. So I, I can say it was like uh, drinking from a fire hose. Then uh i believe i have grasped so many uh of the things like most of the things that i have to uh grasp so it was very fascinating for me and one thing that you learned uh like doing a lot of things within a very short time excellent okay daisy um hi everyone good morning um good i hope morning. you can hear me aaron very well yeah um last week was challenging but way better than week zero uh mm -hmm. because at least uh i was familiar with like the k-means clustering algorithm um but did you say uh, the k-means or the kenyans the k-means uh, and that was a little joke oh oh <laughs> it, sounded, it okay. sounded like the kenyan clustering algorithm i thought maybe there was some of that happening Oh yeah. Okay, I'll 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 get it much later. I'm quite sure. <laughs> uh, so just like uh, just like Jonas, I was also learning some of the things for the first time. Things like PCA, and really like I was able to see a difference in my algorithm um, 
when I tried scaling the data and normalizing the data. So it was really, it was a really a good, it was a really good experience, um, the experimenting bit. Um, and then also finally, at least this time, I was able to like um, uh, <laughs> successfully work with Streamlit and have a dashboard much as I had a few bugs. Um, it felt mm -hmm. like an achievement for me. Um, so I think now the next part I need to push myself into is just to be able to like dockerize a project because I wasn't able to do that successfully, but like at least I understand how mm -hmm. that works. So it was a really good experience, albeit challenging. Um, how I rested uh, this weekend, I went grocery shopping, so like to buy vegetables for the week. Mm -hmm. um, I find shopping to be very therapeutic, so I'm well rested. Excellent. Sounds good. Um, so who would like to go next? Let's go to Selam. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you well. Good morning. Uh, well, uh, uh, the week one task was uh, somewhat challenging, but uh, since I have already noticed uh, the email pattern in week zero, um, I was able uh, to go faster when uh, on the pre-processing part and uh, after after up to data cleaning and after that um, it was a bit challenging but uh, after i did uh, task one uh, task two three and the risk task were either they somewhat followed uh, similar patterns but um, uh, the thing i want to ask is uh, when uh, in the week one uh, github submission link there was a a uh, code pipeline um, matrix measurement, and I don't understand what you use uh, to measure that. So I uh, I don't know if any of the tutors want to answer this question. Is anyone here among the tutoring team that wants to answer? Otherwise, I have a, I asked Diablo Bell, and he gave me a quick answer, but he's happy to provide answers. He's uh, yet he to get a, a COVID test today, so he's not online right now. But do any of the tutors want to answer that question? Otherwise, the brief answer that I have for you right now, before you have a bell, gives a more detailed answer, um, is that, yeah, or maybe one of the trainees, that's a good point. Um, the brief answer I have is that I think it was specifically asked to use the scikit-learn pipeline. So that's that's the answer that I have. Does anyone else, any of the trainees want to answer? Uh, but uh, my question is, uh, was it required on task one, the uh, scikit-learn uh, method? Uh, I don't see anywhere I can I can put that. Okay, that's a fair point. Could you ask? I think you asked the question on Slack. Could you ask again? Tag Yabobel, and then we'll come back to you with an answer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how did you rest on the weekend? Uh, well, uh, I I think uh, <laughs> I overslept all the week. You know the the lack of sleep. So I kind of compensated by sleeping and eating and watching movies and stuff like that. I relaxed it and uh, uh, later on the evening, I uh, set up my Docker environment just in case uh, for the future uh, projects, I was setting up some environments and that's how I spent my weekends. You, you set up your Docker, that sounds great. Any lessons learned for last week, from last week or one lesson learned? Uh, the lesson I learned is, um, when it comes to the non-technical part, uh, it was really interesting to see how uh, one can transform a raw data into something meaningful, uh, you know, uh, to draw out insights and uh, <clears throat> especially when writing um, the final report, uh, it's really interesting to see how um, normal data, data results to be transformed into something anyone can understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, one thing I've seen is that uh, how to interpret data and the other thing is I've learned a lot of technical concepts um, in each task and uh, in every task like uh, correlation to uh, PCA uh, clustering I really had a difficult time uh, to understand clustering at first but once and I did uh, it was really good it was really good so um, I really I'm, I'm, I'm getting the gist of the workflow uh, when it comes to machine learning uh, uh, projects. So, yeah, that's Excellent. it. Okay, we'll, we'll go to Binyam. 
Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. Am I ready? Okay. Uh okay, last week for me was uh, uh good in general it was good. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, but uh, the couple of things uh couple of important things I've learned is from the technical skill wise uh, I've learned to use Docker in the Heroku for continuous deployment of <clears throat> my work. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the work optimization side, I've noticed a lot of repeating patterns uh, in the machine learning workflow. So uh, I've decided to set up some of the common scripts and uh, general uh, deployment testing uh, <clears throat> and continuous integration and, uh, materials so that uh, week two's project can go much faster, allowing me to focus more on uh, generating the insights uh, than uh, uh, adjusting common uh, errors and uh, other uh, similar problems. So okay. basically, that, that's my lesson from week one. Okay. And how did you rest on the week, on the weekend? Oh, uh, I've rested uh, quite uh, enough, I think. Uh, I've, I have slept a lot, especially during the day and around the evening. Similar to what Salam said, I went over some of the difficult concepts I encountered in the week one. Uh, mm -hmm. So that, uh, and also I set up some of the <clears throat> common script uh, data cleaning, data processing, and, uh, and uh, continuous deployment and integration environments. So basically, that was my weekend. <laughs> I'm, for, I'm foreseeing that in a week from now, our advice is going to be to everyone that one people should also exercise a little bit. It's good if the brain is active and people are sleeping and eating, but I think yeah. the body may need to get a little bit active as well. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael? Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael. Okay. Yeah. Last week was somehow... Uh, like it, it is a week that I got a lot of lessons lessons for the the future weeks. I was not able to do most of um, I was not able to do like most of the task for and I just got a a I just got an insight how I should arrange my time since last week last week almost the first two days I was not working um, I was not having a good working environment so I didn't do well so. Uh, I just find out uh, the a week the, the last week to be a good lesson for me, and and also I just found myself I, I'm somehow I'm somehow new to data engineering, data science, and also machine learning, and I saw myself how I how I uh, increased from the from the week zero to week one. I saw myself how I uh, increased, and also I, I got some friends that were so helpful and that was uh, a positive thing that I got from week one and uh, uh, Sunday on Sunday just I just I just uh, jot down what I missed in week one and I started to 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 to, to summarize uh, the, the patterns that I didn't do well and I started to see some YouTube videos and the half time the the the, in the afternoon, I started watching football games. That's how I that's how I recreate. And yeah, that was how my rest time go. Okay, sounds good. Did you? Uh, okay, hello everyone. Good morning. I, I was so you did you you did we'll go with you. I want to did you you're out. Oh, okay, okay. But no, no, Sorry. It's no, no, it's okay. Go ahead, and then we'll do did you. Iradakunda next, and after that we'll ask uh, Denai to go. Okay. Uh, so about last week, last was last week was a bit challenging and it was hard, uh, especially meeting the deadlines was hard. Finishing all the tasks was hard. Uh, I managed to submit all the tasks that I've done on time, but I can't say that I've finished everything. But uh, they were challenging. Mm. Uh, the lessons that I've learned from last can I, week. Can I ask you a question on that? So, how did you decide uh, to submit whatever you had finished, even if it was not completely done? How did you uh, How did you make peace with yourself there? 
you submitted mm. something even if you weren't happy with it. Yes, I wasn't happy with it at all, especially on some tasks, but yeah. uh, I couldn't have done more with the time that I was working on. So mm -hmm. I just decided to move on after some of the tasks. I tried to optimize some things as well as try to uh, automate the pipelines as I've, some already have said, but uh, I just made my piece of that. Not how, finishing everything. How did you do that? Uh, because I think, I think it's a common challenge, right? Everyone wants to do everything well. And we're mm. used to, we're switching mindsets from university mode where I want to get every point that I can get and we're now into preparing for work mode where being on time and getting as much done in that frame is more important than doing everything perfectly. Yes. So how did you do that? Uh, I, to be honest, on the, especially on Saturday uh, night, I submitted the time, just the submission deadline came and I submitted the tasks and I couldn't have done anything. So I just slept that night. <laughs> And I try to do some automations on Sunday morning. Okay. Good. Uh, okay. Come. But okay, from the the tasks, the things that I learned from last week was that, uh, especially on my on Sunday yesterday, I was trying to look at my whole week and uh, what I was doing and what I did wrong. Uh, when I was going through the week through the challenge. Uh, I thought that I wasn't learning anything at all, or I thought that I was doing everything wrongly. But when I was just looking at my week yesterday, uh, I saw that I've come a lot from the starting point or on Monday to Saturday. I, I saw that I've learned a lot. At least I know now what to look for when approaching similar tasks or similar problems. And I've learned lots of new things. And I yeah, think you, that was- Did you see this Karate Kid video that I posted? Mm, no, no, I haven't. No. Yeah. I have a, have a look. I think I posted in random. It's basically the same thing, where he thinks oh. he hasn't learned anything, and then he uh. actually he's learned how to do karate quite well. Uh. It's and a very old I think, Okay, and I, I, it was amazing. Yes, it was amazing. Uh, I rested most of the day, and uh, I was also doing some exercise yesterday, and okay. it was great. Great. So I think Mary's going to have to do an exercise. Uh, Exercise, community building session, jumping jacks, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Yadia. Uh, Yadidia. Uh, Didier. Didier Irada Kunda. Okay, maybe Didier's connection. Uh, if Didier, if you can't speak, then please type denied. Okay, tonight's typing. We will go to Rafa. Hi, everyone. Good morning. So I didn't really want to talk for this morning because it's just like... Um, you did want to talk or you didn't want to talk? I didn't want to. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, because I mean, I didn't sleep, I didn't sleep well yesterday. We had power outage so i didn't want to influence the negative vibes here <laughs> as it's at the starting of the week too but yeah i mean um this is like really very hot weather and it's just like uh, yeah. so how, yeah, was week, how was week one lessons learned and how did you rest despite the yeah. heat i mean the heat i'm sure it's uncomfortable <laughs> but i guess you're yeah. used to Okay, so yeah, for week one, of course, it's uh, as everyone just said, this was very challenging as for me. And um, I hope I could just manage to submit much better than what I did. But of course, uh, I mean, for my learning process, it's really like much, much better. And I feel like now I can visualize, now I understand the flow of um, machine learning. I mean, it's much better and I can I just make a list of things that I've learned through this week and compare it to the week zero and I mean I'm trying every time to just update myself with what I'm learning here and things like that so yeah um, what else yeah I mean for the community it was really 
and it's really great to just see all of uh, all of us sharing together uh, struggles and so on. So yeah, everything is uh, good. And did you rest yesterday? No, <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't. Because yeah. of the heat. Okay. Yeah, heat and I mean power outages was like uh, for two long hours and I just have to manage uh, to uh, set up my, I mean, the charge of laptop and all that set up for this week so that I can go further. So I just want to, as, as we're, we've heard from about five to ten people so far, um, one thing I just want to remind everyone we, we've always said it will take three to six months to get uh, ready for a junior level job at the global level. So the expectation is not that everyone has figured everything out on week one. This is, you could say, it's either one out of 12 steps or one out of 24 steps. So don't, uh, it's very important that we, we're not expecting a result right away, but the result that we should be expecting is that we're getting ready to work. We start getting used to the rhythm, we trust each other, we understand um, what it means to look at the challenges, why it's useful, setting things up, uh, optimization of different processes, time management, working with other people. But the goal is not that everyone is ready for a job uh, tomorrow. I so see. let's, let's and keep that in mind. One, one more last question. Is it normal that I have, I mean, for sometimes I feel up and, you know, down, like, it's just changing very, the frequency is like <laughs> very uh, different between the ups and downs um, while I'm there in. Is that normal? Like, I think it's quite normal, but I think the, as if you read the, skim the article or read the article that I posted, I think we oh, have yeah. to, the, the, what I find really interesting um, is to remember what is the longer term goal. The ups and downs, what happens week on week, some, something wasn't graded perfectly, I didn't get this thing to work. All of that is fine, but the, there's a really simple central goal that all of us have that we want to get a global level job as in machine learning, in Web3. It's a really simple goal. And these little ups and downs, it's like um, those are inevitable and those will also be true um, when you get to your job. So I think it's much more important to let's look at the positive sides of um, the progress that we're making, the community that we have, the other people who are here and willing to help. And so the ups and downs are normal, but I think the positive long-term view is what I use for myself to, um, to try and remember how things are going. But I would really encourage uh, everyone here that when there are the downs, just send a message in the week two channel or send a message to somebody that you know, send a message to your peer mentor, send a message to Mary. And yeah, just some reassurance or some um, other sort of support can be useful, but I think this there, there's really no reason to feel like people are not on track. One of the reasons why we put a lot of effort into selecting each and every person here is so that we had a uh, we had sufficient degree of confidence to make an investment into everyone here. Um, so I mean that's that's one thing that we haven't said before, but everyone who's here, we've made an investment into each of you because we are confident based on what we know that you will be job ready in three to six months. So I would encourage everyone to relax a little bit. It's good to work hard, but working hard out of fear or working hard out of being stressed is not as good as working hard because you're enjoying um, what you're doing. Nice, thank you for that voice, yeah. Okay, great, Mary? Yeah, and maybe just to add a little bit for, to what you're saying is um, it is okay not to be okay. I can't emphasize that so much. And um, sometimes when you feel like it's important for you to understand yourself, learn about yourself better. So when you feel low, it is okay that you're feeling low. But the point is, what do you do when you're at that low moment that matters? Okay, so I think uh, what I would say is let's let's understand our state because that's what um, that's what determines our output. So your state, your health state, understand it. If you're tired, um, learn what works best for you 
to relax. So there's some people who want to listen to music and they get relaxed. There's some people who take a walk. It's fine to do that. So um, let's take care of ourselves and yeah, be mindful about that. Thanks, Mary. I think that's really, um, yeah, I think that's important. And that's why we have some of the support structures in place. And that's also why we did the peer mentoring in week one. So everyone has resources and uh, the best resource is actually someone else to talk to. So please do use those um, quote unquote resources. So if anyone can't uh, speak, please do type. And otherwise we're gonna go quickly around the group. Uh, Margaret, is Margaret still here? She had her hand up before. Um, yeah. Good morning, Hammer. everyone. Good morning. Um, my week one was quite challenging. And the one takeout I had from week one was um, not dwelling so much into perfecting your work. So I spent most of my time perfecting the little I could do instead of just trying to move forward. But from today's morning stand. your work and the global jobs needing you to do the most you can in a short period of time. So that is what I will look into while we're going for week two. Yeah, excellent. And maybe just to add one thing to what Margaret said uh, before we hear how she rested on Sunday, one of the most, uh, as an employer, one of the things that bothers me the most is if somebody doesn't show up. I would much rather have somebody come back to me with something and says, Look, this is how far I got, these are the questions I have, and this is the reason I didn't get further. That's so much better than getting something late, um, even if it's perfect, uh, but one day late. Because then I don't know exactly what's going on and why that's uh, there, and it makes it very hard for me to predict what's, what's going to happen next time. So I would really encourage everyone, there's no reason not to submit. Even if you've done something which is, is taken you 15 minutes, spend those 15 minutes and get that in. So we have uh, Amul, Amon. Um, <laughs> I have to give Amon credit for this uh, meat bouncing. I still found that hilarious. I still laugh about that. And I see that Kevin is writing as well. Uh, Margaret, how did you rest yesterday? Um, I took a walk outside. Uh, small hike. Okay. Almost all day. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Uh, Martin. Uh, all right. Uh, good morning. Morning, Martin. I hope that you can be able to hear me. I'm in a bit of a noisy place. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, you're quiet. The you're, week... you're, yeah, you can hear me. Oh, yeah. The week that has passed, uh, there are many things that I got to learn uh, concerning. Uh, data processing and also uh, just writing of reports. Writing of reports is something that uh, it appears, uh, it's a task like a, a last minute task, but uh, something I came to learn is also report writing needs to be given also enough priority uh, so that uh, you can be able to hand in a, a report that is making a lot of sense. So uh, that's what I learned. I also learned uh, just more about modularizing uh, using the scripts that I was working on on week zero, uh, the same scripts uh, for week one, and I'm um, trying to make it uh, more modularized so that I can use them uh, throughout until uh, the time will be able to complete. Um, yeah, that's that's what I've been uh, doing. Yeah, uh, how I rested uh, on the Sunday. Uh, for me, I started resting from Saturday, uh, just uh, going to church and also. Uh, socializing with friends you yeah, are meeting up with friends mostly well, that's what i did uh, in the entire weekend and then uh yeah now i'm ready for the week yeah thank you La La laughter is the best preparation um i just wanted to touch on one thing that martin said so some of you may be wondering why are we asking you to write reports the reason is when you get to the world of work it doesn't matter what you've prepared by and large it has to be shared with other people it could be your colleagues it could be your manager it could be your manager's manager the ability to explain what is it that I've done, what uh, what did I try, what worked, what didn't work, what what is my degree of confidence, these are important things. So even if you're the world's greatest programmer, the ability to explain to your colleagues what is it that you've done is important. And so this is one of the reasons we're uh, emphasizing that people uh, need to practice writing. 
So we'll go to Stella. Good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Good morning, Stella. We can hear you. Uh, so my week one was uh, very much better than week zero. I found myself learning more and being able to manage the tasks um, faster. And like, uh, I just had a better flow for everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like I performed better last week from um, considering uh, week zero and uh, my background, uh, but um, I'm very happy and I'm glad that uh, this this program is really challenging me and making me uh, work towards um, a better a better uh, skill set. Uh, through the weekend, I spent time with my friends and I slept a lot for the rest, and I also celebrated my birthday, which was on Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Great. Thanks, Tal. Happy birthday again. Um, we'll go to Tadese. Hello, hello. Sorry for delay. Can morning, you hear me? Yeah, we Good can morning. hear you. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> uh, the week one is really it is, uh, interesting and challenging. Uh, a little bit, it is hard when compared to week zero. But what I understand from week one is just uh, if I manage my time, I will do more than these things because uh, we have in between a three days, a days which doesn't have any delivery. So using that day is important, even though the del delivery is on Wednesday and, and the Saturday, you have to do things early. For example, we don't need to wait for non-technical jobs, uh, workers for deadline even if we did the thing we have to turn in in time uh, and as a challenge what i face is uh, at the end of the day uh, I, I have written actually on the slack and uh, thank you uh, arun also uh, informed me the time but uh, uh, the mistake i made is my system my pc and uh, the normal uh, timing is not resemble each other Unfortunately, when I turned in, uh, I have uh, late because it is two minutes or one minute late. I don't know whether it is visible to your side from the academy team side. If it is uh, tolerable, I, I am happy. And uh, if I have to punish for that thing, I have to punish this academy. But uh, I beg you, <laughs> really. <laughs> that I, I think, I mean, okay. I, I would actually be really curious what's, I mean, what's the point of the leaderboard? The leaderboard, it should be positive reinforcement, not negative reinforcement. So yeah, yeah. In, my, in my experience, the leaderboard ends up having very little, um, very little bearing on anything. Um, no. So uh, don't worry about the leaderboard. The point is, no. I think, worry about how you're doing and it sounds like you're learning and I'm happy about that. Did you get to rest yesterday to this? Yeah, so yesterday, my yesterday day was a, a good day because mm -hmm. First, uh, in the morning season, I, I have cleaned my house and I washed my clothes that I used in week one of the academy training. And uh, I refreshed then on the evening, as Margaret said, I moved, I walked, I have a tea with my friends, with my golden friends, and uh, uh, I am happy for that. And uh, Later on, when I see uh, things on my email, even I have seen the document that you shared as a graded document. Uh, really, it is interesting. If I proceed this way, I will be successful, I think. So, thank we, you. We think so too. That's why we're here. Uh, That's the system okay. that we have. Okay, we'll go to okay. Malaku, Nardos, Abel. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Malaku. Hello. Uh, Week one was uh, somehow challenging than week zero. So there was a lot of uh, blockers in my side. So I couldn't be able to perform well compared to week zero. So it was a bit challenging, but uh, I managed to do the tasks. So uh, the thing I learned uh, last week was 
to start with the non-technical part. The three were the job project was uh, uh, was enriching and uh, insightful experience. I get to see uh, the gap between me and uh, the roles required. So I plan to uh, I, I plan to uh, take uh, some useful knowledge along the way to to be ready for the roles. So uh, I get. Uh, I get to know the requirement for to be a junior, uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, to be, <laughs> okay, uh, I get to know the requirement to be uh, in a junior role jobs. So it was a very uh, insightful experience. No, I, I mean, I'm happy you mentioned the three real, real world jobs, because for me, that's one of the most important things. That's why we put it in, in week one. If you don't know why you're doing all of this, these are the types of jobs that in 11 weeks, everyone will start applying for. So that's your way and everyone here's way of saying, okay, forget about what uh, 10 Academy is saying. We want to go and um, interface with the real world. And this is the real world. What, what are they looking for? What are they expecting? And so I think, I hope that not only the three jobs that everyone posted, but as part of the search process, it's, it is one of the most important things. If everyone who is here is here for work. So let's find out what the real world is looking for. We are providing you a view, a staged view of what you need to get there, but that's your end goal. So I'm happy that you found that useful. And I hope that for others, um, that exercise was, um, was useful as well. Okay. So and I, I, I have a biased view. I mean, I think dockerizing is great. But knowing where your goal is is even great is even better. So okay. I think I'll do that. <laughs> it's better so, than uh, the thing, the things I did on Sunday and on the weekend actually was uh, so most of the week was uh, sitting and uh, programming. And so I start, I, on Sunday I plan to uh, take a physical exercise. And uh, there was a uh, a driving exam coming up, so. I had to prepare with my brother, so I practiced the driving, my driving skills. So, uh, yeah. oh, I also watched. <laughs> I, I I watched on I watched football on Sunday, so I did that. Excellent. Okay, um, Nardos. Uh, hey everyone, how good are you doing? Morning. Uh, I'm good. So. The week one was very uh, challenging from week zero, apparently. I don't know how, but there, it had more concepts that I did not know that were new for me. But it has taught me a lot and ha it had, I have found more knowledge from it, I guess. And I, I as, as the other said, I did not submit every task or did every task. That was hard for me to accept not being able to do the bare minimum and not doing the required tasks. That was very hard thing to do. And submitting what I had was hard. So what go what had me going was was that someone said to me one time that perfection comes from comes after progress. So in order to be perfect I had to to do the bare minimum. So that had me going and I guess that's that's the most uh, interesting thing I learned this week. And for fun, I had food. I had a lot of food. So, yeah, that was my week. What, what, what did you eat? What was your good food? What did I eat? I had raw meat, actually. <laughs> okay. Good, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. This week, uh, a star was raw meat, I guess. Very good. Okay, Abel and then Victor. Bravo. Hey everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, week one was the first step in learning how to arrange any data science project, and all the basic steps were uh, well implemented. Rest is also essential. In my end, uh, I watched the Karate Kid movie clip uh, that you posted, and it was well put uh, in terms of learning uh, new stuff. Uh, and indeed, uh, Sunday was a great day to relax and play games uh, like Minecraft and uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, and yeah, that's what I have in my end. 
Mabel, you have to get off your computer on Sundays. Video games are good, but you have to go uh, go, go see the real world. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'll try my best. Okay. Your your mother asked me to tell you that, by the way. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> okay, Victor. Okay. Um, good morning. Maybe you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you well. All right. Uh, week one to me was a bit tough to me because um, I had um, challenges with light, although still I couldn't finish the um, the task. I did it till task four, but then couldn't um, build the dashboard. But I was trying to go about it. I I didn't have actually I didn't have any blockout, but then I I was not able to because I was so so much tired. Yes, very very much tired with uh, the week. But I, I hope this week will be uh, better because um, this is an experience. For us, when we get like a global level job, we have to put in our best in uh, whatever we are doing. So I hope this week will be okay and great. And I, I want to ask um, if we can just, actually just still... One, one quick question for you. So why why were you so tired and what are you going to change? Um, I was so tired because um, I actually have... Uh, I have an uh, an engagement with something that week, and then I was trying to because I, because of the time because of the time although that uh, engagement is done already I've already finished the book, but because of the time I only get to work majorly mostly at the night so I I start to work around 11 p.m. till like 4 a.m. Then sleep, then wake up around 8 a.m. So that was why I was so so tired. But now this week, um, the engagement, I'm already done with um, what I was doing. So I would uh, have much time to work on myself better than to be waking up every time in the midnight to work. So I think that's a good point that I want to touch on. I mean, all of us at baseline were humans, and humans generally yeah. do not work as well between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. As, yes, yes. I mean, just imagine you have someone else who's working from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and you're starting at 11 p.m. So yes. getting the infrastructure and the, the setup right is important because it's not mm. realistic. Um, 11 to okay. 4. Yes, I, I, I know it, it is not actually realistic in any way, but then um, we are, I'm free now. So I hope this week will be a very best week for me also. Yeah, you had a question? All right. Uh, my question was that um, uh, can we still? Uh, I know we can uh, actually not submit the game. I don't think uh, it will be graded anyway. But can we still um, finish up if we actually wanted to? And uh, thinking that it will not affect week two, can we do that? Or you advise us that we just focus on the week two and leave um, what is left for week one? I think it's important to focus on week two and once the training is over let's go back and focus on those weeks that are important for you so it could be that you decide you want to go into data engineering or web3 engineering so this is why we have the supported job search phase when one can go back and redo them well but let's 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 take one bite at a time okay 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 all right thank you so much yeah. okay thank you uh amal do you want to give us an update Okay, so I see a written update from Amal. Um, Titus? Titus? Okay, Celine? Celine? Good morning. Morning, Celine. Uh, for me, week one wasn't good. I was not feeling well. From Monday to Wednesday, I was sick. So on Wednesday, I did not submit. I tried working on task Wednesday evening, Thursday and Friday, so that I got something to submit on Saturday. I tried working even if I wasn't feeling well. 
so I did some submission uh, so far and now I'm feeling well so I have to work hard this week so that I can uh, I can learn more I can learn more from this task from this week two task uh, for week one task I will revise it after after or other week so that I can learn more things about it. I learned a uh, few. So yesterday I take a list. Morning I played and afternoon I visited some of my friends so that I can refresh well and enter in this week with all the energy so that I can complete this week task thank you okay great so i'm going to wrap up the stand up just by giving my update for the week so last week for me was a good week it was great to see that the um the cohort was coming together a lot of work was done organization wise uh things were not perfect uh which is a reflection of us learning as well and we have many new team members on board but while it wasn't perfect i think we um yeah, it was by far and away many more positives than the things that we need to improve on. So overall, week one was very positive, lessons learned. Um, I think that letting, letting the cohort figure things out themselves tends to work very well. And I think uh, for me, it's, it's a good sign to step back and to work on some of the things that we have coming up in the future. So not to worry about the small details, but as I recommended to, um, I can't remember who it was now, but to focus on the long-term core issue that we're really trying to solve and the details will get sorted out. Um, and how did I rest yesterday? So I, my daughter had a rowing race. So the whole family went there to watch her compete in the rowing race. And then we had a couple of errands to run. So that, and here in Germany, there's very good, uh, they're very nice bakeries where you can get fresh uh, croissants and stuff in the morning. So I went for a walk with my uh, youngest son and just got some fresh bread in the morning. So I think that's it, unless anyone has a burning need to speak. Does anyone want to make, last person want to make a contribution? So Yedidia uh, Everest will release the, it'll be similar. He'll release the updated schedule as soon as possible. Uh, Jeremy, no, there's no one way to do uh, week one. Um, what I would encourage you, Jeremy, is to ask some of your colleagues to for a link to their GitHub and have a look at how they did it. Um, we will also be releasing well done challenges um, so keep an eye out for that. But there's no, there is no one sample. Just like when you get to the world of work, if you ask your manager for, give me a sample of how I should have done it, it doesn't exist because there's 50, there's so many different ways to do it. That's like saying, what is the right way to draw a picture of an orange? Um, there's no real right way. Michael, uh, it was fine. They came in fourth. They were almost at third. Uh, they're relatively new to the sport. And so they were disappointed. Um, they had three races over the weekend. Uh, they didn't win any of them and they didn't do super well, but yeah, they were happy. It was wonderful weather. Um, we have a really important, I think, guest talk coming up this week. It'll happen on, um, I have to check the actual date. It'll be part of the schedule. Um, Wakali from Kenya, one of our batch three alumni is going to speak about her journey. Um, and what she did post 10 Academy, what she's doing now. Um, yeah, she's a wonderful speaker. She was one of the really strong contributor to our community in 2020. So she's going to be our first guest speaker. Um, guest talks will be coming up. Um, yeah, you have your group assignments. I'm not sure if there are any other questions. Otherwise, we'll wrap up the stand up. Daisy? Um, I have a question with regards to like the team based approach for this week challenge. Yeah. Could you share more information about that? Uh, what's your question? Um, what exactly are we doing in teams? Because uh, the last part of, uh, of the documentation says that we're still going to do individual submissions. Yeah, I think you can do, uh, so I have to look at the documentation in more detail. So all of your, the reporting has to be done yourselves. Um, I think you can share the same code, but all of the reporting has to be done yourself. 
and I understand that everyone we have to we want to make sure that everyone actually knows how all of the code works themselves. So I think you can have a single code base. Um, I'll let the technical team answer the question in a little bit more detail. So when we have uh, somebody's unmuted, yeah, go ahead. So like coming up in ten minutes, we have an introduction to challenge. I guess they probably have to cover everything to understand uh, regarding the wiki challenge and how they are going to handle the the team's work. I, th I think one of the points just to uh, just to make it clear for everyone, what we want is that even if you have the same code base, employers look at your contributions on GitHub over a longer period of time. So we want to make sure, and it's in your best, it's in your own individual interests that you find a way, even if you're working on a group project, that you're also making contributions to your own um, GitHub account. So don't uh, don't ignore that, and we have to find a way to make sure that even if it's the same code it's also linked to your own GitHub account. And so I believe that that is, um, we want to have a way to demonstrate that. It's not that everyone needs to do their own code, but you need to be making commits and contributions to your own account. Okay, thank you. So to this day, so it's, it's not a very good answer to your question, because as you can see, I'm not familiar with the, the technical details yet, um, but do ask those questions and make sure for everyone here, that your contributions or the work that the group does is also reflected on your account. So Ted, I say we will make that update as mentioned at the start. We're working on that. Uh, the next session starts in eight minutes. So, but uh, the team will release the schedule um, soon. Yeah, we're a little bit late on that. So apologies for that. In terms of grading, um, the leaderboard will be released by Friday. So one of the reasons it takes us a bit of time is we do want to mark and we want to mark well. So the leaderboard for uh, the end of week one will be released on Friday and different grades will be um, pushed back or released or returned during the week. So um, just to recap some of the things that we talked about, um, it seems like overall week one was a learning experience for many people. We touched on the need or how best to find the balance between perfection and progress and how to make yourself okay with not submitting everything. Um, and just getting as much done as you can on time while keeping a long-term view. Um, this, this battle is not one, one day to the next or one week to the next. We're on a three to six month journey together. Let us keep this longer term goal in mind towards the first job and then things reset and we keep uh, proceeding there. It seems like a lot of people learned lessons in terms of how to optimize, how to share, how to get support from other people. And finally, I think that uh, those people who really took a mental break and came back refreshed, it seems like they appreciate that rest um, and everyone's ready for this weekly challenge. The last recommendation that I will make from you and uh, the whole team is here to help as well, the teams that organize themselves within the teams very well, they set up a meeting immediately after the call, get on the phone, um, set up a separate Slack channel and say, how are we approaching this? Who is taking care of which role? Um, I think that's super important. We've decided not to assign specific project managers yet. But what we've seen in the past is that if everyone has a job and it's clear what everyone else is doing and that they stick to those roles, that tends to help a lot. And I would advise everyone not to wait till this evening, do it immediately. We're there to help. So thank you everyone, let's stop recording and wishing everyone a wonderful start uh, to week two. Uh, last point I'll make, there is a non-technical challenge. It's going to be released in the next couple of hours. So this week we'll have one group challenge and one non-technical challenge. Thank you.